Welcome to another one of our tutorials. For this one, we're going to download and install MySQL on a Windows 2003 server with IIS. While there are many options in the installation, most of them are outside the scope of this tutorial. Here, our goal is to get MySQL running on your server so that you can go on and use it as your database for other web applications. All right, we're going to install MySQL, which will be very simple and easy. First, we have to download it. So we go to www.mysql.com, and we're going to click on Downloads from the home page. Scroll down a little bit, and take me to the Community Downloads. Okay, Windows and we're going to get the Windows Zip Setup EXE. And I'm going to download that to the desktop here. And I'm going to go up to the top of the page and I'm going to choose GUI Tools. And Windows. I'm getting the installer version. Here you can create an account or log in or just go straight to the downloads and pick a mirror. And again, I'm going to save this to the desktop and close the browser. Okay. So now while the GUI tools downloads and the zip downloads, I'm going to pause. Okay, both files are downloaded now. Here's my SQL and here's the GUI tools. I'm going to get the setup exe out of the MySQL zip file. file and run setup. Okay, I'm going for a complete install. Configure it now. Detailed. I'm going to make a server machine a multifunctional database and leave the defaults here. Okay, right here, port number 3306, we need to make sure that's open in the firewall if we have that enabled. So in my case, I'm going to go to Control Panel and Windows Firewall. I'm going to go Exceptions and Add a Port. I'll name it MySQL 3306 and TCP. Click OK. There it is. And I can continue over here now. Standard character set. Install as a Windows service and I'm going to include the bin directory in the path. And we have to create a password. I suggest you create a nice strong password. And I'm going to continue and it's ready to go. So click on Execute, and we'll probably get an error in a second. And there it is. And this is, again, the, the port issue. We're going to retry it. It'll probably go now. And there it is. So I'm going to click Finish, and that's done. Now I'm going to get rid of the setup, keep the desktop clean, and install the GUI tools. And that's done. All right, now I'm going to go to Programs, MySQL, and I should see the administrator. There it is. I'm going to copy that to the desktop, because we'll use it later, and double-click on it. All right, here, localhost, root, and I'm going to put the password that we created in the installer, and boom, there we are. So the server is running, and everything looks pretty good. So, MySQL is now fully installed. I'm going to get rid of the GUI tool installer. And that's that for this one.